What's up guys, my name is Technobe here for Troubleshoot and I'm back with another video today on Hyper-V. So basically, if you use Hyper-V for hosting virtual machines, you probably had an okay if not good experience up until now when you needed to search for this video. Without too much explanation, if I go ahead and double click on a Hyper-V virtual machine, connect to it, start it up, you'll see that it gets to starting 10% and then it sits here for however long it does up until it eventually crashes out and gives us an error message or possibly it doesn't give you an error message at all. It just gets stuck at 10%. We'll simply wait for this to happen. There we go. We've got an error right now saying the application encountered an error while attempting to change the state of brand new Windows 10, which is the name of the virtual machine here. Failed to start the SCSI controller, blah, blah, blah. Failed to power on with the error. The system cannot find the file specified. Attachment, Windows 10 ISO inside of my downloads folder could not be found due to the error. The system cannot find the file specified. Now, of course, this error may be completely different for you. However, because I installed the virtual machine with a Windows 10 ISO, then deleted the Windows 10 ISO and tried to power it on again after finishing installing it, it didn't work. You can also see more details down here if you can't understand the error above. Basically, what it getting stuck at 10% usually means is that something is failing to boot up properly. So that could be something to do with the firmware over here. Security, which you can try disabling a secure boot if this is the issue. You can change the amount of RAM, change the amount of virtual processes, and we can have a look inside of SCSI controller for the hard drive, so we can make sure this file actually exists and is accessible. And more likely than not, it's your DVD drive down here. Image file, this location. What we need to do is simply select none and hit apply if this is your issue. Sometimes it can also be your network adapter, which you can go ahead and check down here. Of course, you can change it to not connected to test to see if it boots with or without it. And if it turns out that your network adapter is the issue, you can simply create a new one. Anyways, we'll hit OK and we'll try and boot up the computer once again. So I'll double click on it and I'll go ahead and hit start. Now, as you can see, it gets to 10%. We'll give it a couple of seconds and then it should get past here in a moment. And there we go, starting succeeded. My Windows 10 machine is now starting up as I had expected. Super simple and really easy to get around to fixing. Of course, it'll take a bit of fiddling to find out exactly what the issue is, though I'd highly recommend waiting around until you receive some sort of error message so you can go ahead and figure out exactly what is wrong. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope this video helped you and I'll see you all in the next one. Ciao.